Welcome to Wall Street Confidential. You know, walking to work this morning on Wall Street, just a flood of media, a frenzy, everybody wanting to know what is going on on Wall Street. And, and you got to think about how much of a factor fear is right now. Right. Jim. I mean, there's two kinds of fear for news. There's the fear that earnings are going to disappoint and stocks are going to go lower. And then there's the fear of your life. I mean, the fear of your job mm -hmm. and the fear House. of the banks. Now, it is very hard to focus on the stock market when the layoffs, I think, are going to be extreme. It's very hard to focus on the stock market when, the, you know, all of the earmarks of a Great Depression are coming, uh, tremendous bank failures. Uh, people feel like that their house is losing value. This is exactly what happened in '32s. Was deflationary spiral. Obviously, Bernanke got it wrong. So, what I would say is that that overwhelming fear of loss is going to make it so that there are values where stocks are literally going to go to values that you just simply can't ignore. And the group I want to focus on for a second is infrastructure. There's no doubt in my mind that major projects will be canceled by a worldwide recession. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt in my mind that these companies have the worst possible holders, which are hedge funds. There's also no doubt in my mind that, that if you were to be a forward-thinking businessman, you would roll up Foster Wheeler, Shaw Group, McDermott, Jacobs Engineering into one, dis one super infrastructure company. Now, the people who work at the major companies who could possibly do this are worried that they can't get loans to be able mm -hmm. to put this together, uh, that there's no corporate debt issuance. Tony Krasenzi has done some great stuff on realmoney.com about how little, something like almost no corporate debt issuance these days. But the fear in Main Street is causing stocks to be able to go to levels where if any forward-thinking business person were to go and realize the true values of companies, which they're not right now, then you would have major home runs. When Joy Global is trying to buy back two-fifths of the company and everybody's selling it to them, when Foster Wheeler's buying back a billion dollars worth of stock is a billion dollars and a half in cash, you know, what it says to me is, look, use that fear of, uh, that Main Street's generating to at least try to think about 18 months from now. Because 18 months from now, I really doubt if Freeport McMoran, which just boosted its dividend, it is going to be trading at 40 or 50. And yet, if you're selling in here at 62, 64, you're really betting it's going to go to 40. Because if it's just going to 50, you should buy more. So use that fear to be able to buy stocks that may have worth, not to the market, mm -hmm. but to someone else. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. A good reason to stay focused in this market. Mm -hmm. Why well, should stay here at thestreet.com TV. Stay tuned.